It's time for reinforcements. And you may simply know me as Logamus Prime. Welcome back to do the reaction thing to Black Back Order. I'm gonna say Black Order. That's that, that's a different show, I think. It's Back Arrow. Um, yeah, this is episode four. <laughs> I like how the show started with you know uh, these nations fighting each other, and then we met this village, and now like this village is now almost becoming the center of the war between these two nations now because hey that that one guy who says he's from the other side of the walls we, we want to talk to him you know you can't talk to him and then they have a spaceship too so <sighs> shit's getting real now that what's gonna happen in today's episode um, how far will our heroes or at least this village how far are they going to travel how are we going to learn the limitations of, you know, the girl or the pilots or whatever she is? You know, um, how long can they travel? How long is she capable of doing it? And what sort of con conflicts are they going to come across? So, all right, I'm down. Let's check it out. And the more I hear that opening song, the more I love it. So we got flashback 15 years ago. Oh, I know who that guy is. You can just see the schmuckness in his face. And that's Shubby! Or Shubby, whatever his name is. I was close. Damn, just getting decked in the face. Is that an eyeball? Uh. Did he say his name's Cal? And ever since, he's always had the same eyebrows. What the hell? Look at his face. Look at his face. That doesn't fit his body. <laughs> and what the hell did he do? Like, fucking pump friggin' steroids? Like, how did he get so big? Oh, who the hell are these Power Puff Girls? Be it that they're Powder Puff Boys, because it's three dudes and one girl. I don't even know why I just thought of Power Puff. I, I, I just did. Maybe it's just the colors. They all have similar looks. Holy girl, shit, that, that one chick looks like she's not even wearing a bra. Where are they in the map? Oh, 
I wish I could actually take a better look at the map to understand their choice of direction, but I'm glad that they're having this conversation. So they're going north. Hmm. The Emperor? Oh, okay. You cannot negotiate. I like that. I love that. Holy shit. That was extremely intimidating. Oh, is that all she's ever going to be? It's just a, she's an ornament. Ah, oh, good lord. <laughs> Wait, how are they? They're like gliding, they're not even walking. Huh. Wait, what the? What did they. What was that? It won't flow? Huh. Not really sure what they just did, but okay. <laughs> Shabby! Shabby! <laughs> they picked the price. <laughs> Are you a friend or an enemy? Yeah, we still don't know that yet. You guys really, you really think I'm gonna remember all those names? What is that castle? Holy crap. <gasps> oh, they're gonna see the, the dreadnought. Oh. My conviction is to bury everything. It's to blast every. Okay. This guy wants to burn everything. What the fuck? Yeah. 
What? I, I don't know. It, it doesn't really work that way. Good lord, they all sound like murderers. They want to drown, they want to burn, they want to bury things. Yeah. It's freaking sociopaths. <laughs> it's like yo. Did he just do Shadow Claw Jutsu? Huh. Completely destroyed them with a drop kick. Whoa. How can you have no conviction and, and have the power? Huh. Oh. What is he doing? He surrendered? <laughs> he was assessing? What if they would have lost? Pulling out, get everyone get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, but he should have kept baby girl with him. That's a shame. <laughs> and I like how everyone's like, yo, bro, we didn't say yes. Get the fuck out of here. Bam, you did. She's telling him, oh, that motherfucker betrayed us. Oh, man, she is crying. Oh. <laughs> so, so I wonder, how, how is he going to take it? How is he going to value that? Because the episode started with a flashback of both of them, you know, and how they worked together to rise in the ranks, and then now all of a sudden he's, he's a traitor. How dare he, you know? Um... How is he, his buddy, how, Mr. Eyebrows, how is he gonna take it? Uh, I don't think they're gonna take it that harshly. Maybe they will in, like, a few moments. But I feel like eventually, 
uh, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you, you were right. Sorry, you my homie. You know, I, I don't think this show's going to have that, like, elegance of death. I don't think we're gonna get death fado. I don't think we're gonna get some ultimate sacrifices. I think pretty much the whole message of the show, I would believe, is, uh, finding a true home, you know, or finding a home amongst yourselves. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, today's episode was a lot of fun. It was actually, it was a, uh, it was action packed. We got to see Arrow, uh, do his little shadow clone jutsu and his little freaking thing, ba ba shit. Uh, that was pretty cool. We got to see, uh, a, a click of four peoples and their weird convictions, which also makes me think of get, uh, of the world building. Because some of the, their convictions are a little weird because they talk about how they want to bury everything. They want to burn everything. They want to drown everything. And when, and, and when you're so ambiguous with that term, when you say bury everything, you can, it can mean anything. It could be people. It could be your feelings. It could be anything. You know, yeah, you want to drown anything. Again, it could be people. It could be your feelings. It could be your neighbor. I don't know, you know. To have a set of convictions like that, it's just... You don't sound like you're a good person. <laughs> With Chubby now in the squad, uh, what revelations are we going to learn? Heck, I feel like him being with the heroes, or at least with the main characters, is definitely just exposition. Because I'm sure he's going to come out and be like, Oh, well, the ship can do this, and the ship can do that. Because research! <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it makes sense on his end to like join up with you know the... the the heroes in a way because uh, if you learn about the prophecy uh, wouldn't you want to experience that and see that uh, firsthand and be like oh shit these people are going to break the walls let's go I want to see that I want to do that I want to help that so yeah. sorry right. uh, that about wraps up my video as always I love to hear your thoughts so comment down below don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel it's highly appreciated and as always God bless you uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon goodbye Thank you.